guys, welcome back. This is episode four, AKA week four of The Bachelorette. Um, I had a delay in the episode because obviously there was no airing Tuesday, it's Thursday, the election is going on and we still don't know who the president is, but we're talking about The Bachelorette here. So let's get into that and I'll go step by step with my notes per usual. So the episode starts out like that. It's like the guys are like, what's going on? What's happening with Claire? Obviously she's not here for us. Like what is going on with her and Dale? Like it's just, as it should, it started out really, really, really like fast and like into it. So it's kind of like, okay, what's gonna happen? Cause like, again, there's intuition, it's been four weeks. So it's very clear that they're pretty much like aware that she's prioritizing Dale, that she's not really giving time to them. She didn't give a rose at the second group date and I'm assuming they always do. So imagine like you had all that time and she was asking them about Dale in each of their dates just for her to just not give out a rose. It's kind of like, what do you want from us? So after that it pans to Claire Sweet and she's like I'm just thinking about Dale right now and she's like fake writing or she was writing like Dale 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 hearts Dale you know just okay we get it and to Chris Harrison going over to her and like Claire we need to talk at that point again this is like the first five minutes ten minutes I don't even think a commercial had happened yet and he's like okay like what's going up what's the jig like we are very aware that you're really into Dale what about the other guys the guys are pissed at this point like what's happening like it's obvious that you're not giving them like a chance or anything like we need you to like be transparent with us. Like, did you talk to him before that? She starts crying at some point. She also says how she's like, I swear on my family member's life. Like I didn't talk to him before. I did scroll through their IGs before everything. I don't know if people even have that luxury to do that beforehand. I'm comparing to like Love Island. Cause like, they didn't even know who was like the other girls, let alone the other guys. But she like had the luxury of being able to scroll through and probably have these guys faces in her head before she goes in. Like whoever you're attracted to is who you're attracted to. So like, when those guys were coming out one by one, episode one, she probably was like visualizing the one that she liked the most and it was obviously Dale. So it kind of does suck because she had that advantage and for him to like towards the other guys, he had that advantage because she kind of already had his head in her mind probably. But allegedly she claimed that they weren't talking. We'll see. I mean, I don't know. There's a lot of speculation that they were. Even the like, guys and the, like, even the contestants thought that they were talking ahead of time. Even like amongst that without having like the media while they're in the show, you know. Um, LeClaire starts venting about her season being derailed due to COVID and admitted like, again, that they allegedly weren't talking. So I hope that maybe some time later she will say they did. I don't know. It just seems too good to be true for them not to be, but that's just like kind of my take on it. Um, after Chris had like wiped away a fake tear, he was like, this is like the future of the show. Like we can't go on like this. Like you need to tell us what you need to do, but realistically we can't continue with the, how it's going on. And she's like, yeah, I just don't really think it's important or necessary for me to keep going on with these other guys. I've fallen in love with Dale. I want a one-on-one -on -one with him. And that's when I realized they haven't had like a one-on-one -on -one date. Like they talked one-on-one, -on -one, of course, but not like an actual date. So it's like, it's been four weeks, no one-on-one -on -one date. And she's already in love. That's really wild, but you know, that's what it's gonna be. So then Chris goes over to the contestants. He's like, hey guys. Sorry to break it to you, there is no cocktail party and there's no rose ceremony. At that point, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna pack my bags and leave. Like, I don't really know how it is being there, but at that point, I'm like, okay, like, it's a wrap. Like, what's the point? Because I think the cocktail party got canceled, like, two weeks before that or something before. It got canceled here. She didn't show up. She canceled a date. Like, she's done a lot to these guys. I feel really bad, but she canceled it. And then he's like, oh, wait, Dale, can you come over here for a second? And again, at, the, at that point, I'm like, screw Dale at this point. Chris Harrison brings Dale out and he's like, hey, um, Dale, Claire wants one-on-one -on -one time with you. Like she wants it to be with you. And obviously Dale already knows that everything was canceled. So it's kind of like putting two pieces together. He knows it's him that she wants to spend time with. She goes over and they have their date together and she tells him she loves him and he said it back, which was just really wild. Because again, like they do know and they're both very aware that it was very um, fast paced, like than a normal season. I'm not also sure how long a normal season is, but obviously not four weeks. And they also kind of go in about their families and like their personal lives. Again, they haven't done that yet, but they're already in love, allegedly. Um, it pans to the guys again, they're just really like, where is he? Like he's gone, there's nothing else going on. Like they're kind of just conversating about it. Again, I don't blame them. And the thing is like, I get it. If you know, you know, like what's the point of continuing to get, like entertain these guys. But I feel like she'd been new since the first episode when she saw him. She'd been new when she was going through his IG kind of seems like. So there was just a waste of time on these guys to like, spend four weeks although again like you when you know you know she she came on here for herself she's a bachelorette she got picked but again like i just kind of felt like she had this intuition from the beginning she shouldn't have dragged it out as long as it was because what if chris harrison hadn't like talked to her and like asked her her opinion on like whether she keep going would she have stopped it herself like that's what i'm curious about but again i know 
she came on what she wanted. She came on looking for love and she found it. When it pans over to Blake M, he's basically saying how he doesn't believe that Claire could be picking Dale over him. Like, or any of them actually. He's like, there's just no way. There's no way she knows him more than us. I'm like, dude, like the signs are there. She was having all this one-on-one -on -one time with him. Everyone's talking about him. His name hasn't been able to stay out of anyone's mouth. Like obviously it's very clear, but he's like, no, no, no. There's no way she's picking him already. But I'm like, all right, you know, let's be in denial here. During the date with Claire and Dale, they have musicians. I know it's not really like a big thing to focus on, but I was like, were these musicians like in quarantine waiting for this moment? I'm confused because obviously again, like the way TV is working, like you can't be on here unless you've been quarantined and like been tested negative over and over. But like they didn't have masks on, they didn't have masks on. It's like a little side note, but I was just like kind of surprised with that. He spent the night, um, whatever happened, they showed like the dress on the floor and everything and just insinuating stuff. But yeah, I spent the night and they were just talking about like the future kind of, again, their first date, their first night together. Again, still, Blake M is still in denial and just saying like, no, there's no way he spent the night. There's no way that he's been with her this whole time. But it's been 18 hours since they've like been here or since Dale's been here. But like, there's just no way. I'm like, where else could he be? Like, you guys know he's on a truck. Well, actually, you know what? A lot of things happen in TV. They could have pulled him away just to like make him leave or something. But it's just like, I feel like they kind of just knew he was on a good path. But anything could happen. Uh... As Chris Harris goes to the house after Dale leaves that morning, he's like, okay, so the next step is proposal. I have never watched the show, so I didn't know it was like an odd way, like they have to get proposed at the end of it, getting like they're finding love and it's expediting and all this stuff, but I did not know that they by force had to get engaged, proposal, fiance, I didn't know that. So I was like, oh, I didn't know it was like the next step, like I get that, but I also didn't know it was like a requirement of the show, because again, this is my first season watching it. Um, and it was also the night after their first night together. And I'm like, okay, I guess this is how the show's going. Claire finally had the chance to talk to the guys like for herself because it's been Chris talking to them, Chris narrating thing, him giving updates. It was finally her. And she's like, guys, um, she was like, I, or named Dale was not in the room also, by the way, but she's like, this is me on my own terms. I'm letting you know that the journey ends for both of us. I found love with Dale and I'm sorry like, I didn't give you guys enough attention. I don't think she used the word sorry. She was just like, it's over. And one of the guys, I think it's Randy, he was like, are you not going to apologize? And I was like, I wish I was that bold because that was very necessary for him to ask of her. And I know there's like arguments about like, she found what she was coming for. She's a grown woman. She shouldn't apologize for love. But again, she went weeks without spending time with these guys. She cut off days early for these guys. She canceled things just so to be with Dale. And there's 20, 16 guys there that she didn't give any attention. So yes, she owes it to them to apologize. And after he asked her that, she's like, I don't, should I be apologizing? I'm not gonna apologize for love. He's like, that's not what I'm asking you. I'm asking you to apologize for our times. Like we put our lives on pause. We risked our lives coming here for COVID just to not even getting any attention. And she eventually did apologize. But again, she didn't apologize for love because she shouldn't anyways. And as she leaves, she cries outside. It looks like with the producers, like their faces are blurred. There's no way it's, their fam it's her family. And she's crying about it and all that. I'm like, yeah, I guess it sucks because it was actually like silence. Like a lot of them just like really said nothing. So there's nothing to say. I think I've just been so pissed. But then she also was like, can you guys give me a hug after? I mean, maybe I'm just bitter. Maybe I'm petty. I just wouldn't want to hug you after that. I'm like, you wasted my time. I'm possibly going home just because you found love in a second. And I'm sitting here when you couldn't even talk to me. When you couldn't even give me a date. When you couldn't even give a rose because you were so fixated on this one guy. You got what you came here for, but I didn't. And now my time's been wasted for a month. After that, Chris pulls Dale to the side and is like, hey, so letting you know, Claire broke up with the other guys for you. And just letting you know that it's time for the proposal. Again, like, I guess maybe if you watch the show religiously, you know that that's the next step. And maybe he already knew that too, signing up for it. And he's like, oh, okay. Like, I don't know if he said it like that, but he's like, yeah, like the proposal's next. And I think the scene only lasted for like a minute or so ended. Um, and he proposed to her. I was actually shocked. I'm not gonna say I thought it was gonna be like a no, but the way that the trailers made it seem like is like she went crying after it happened, like, like no one loves her. I don't know, like it, producers are really good at what they do. But he got down on one knee, he proposed, Chris Harrison I think came out, it was all like happiness, champagne and everything. And then Chris had to go break it to the other guys. Not her, but Chris. And he's like, hey, yo, Dale, Claire, they left on their own y'all are still here and it's like at that point again like my stomach would just drop like how I said the first episode how like my stomach would drop knowing that like the first rip the first rose ceremony came around and you didn't get a chance to talk to her at all like, that would be like almost the same feeling like okay like the show's over I came for four weeks didn't even get a date with her didn't even get a conversation like that's embarrassing but then he's like wait by the end your journey's not over um there's a little bit more and I think I forgot what his name is 
he was the guy who had the first date. I forgot his name. It's like, I'm blanking. But he's like, so like, I just want to know like, how long is this going to last? Like, I poured my emotions out to Claire. Like, how long is this going to take? Chris didn't answer it. He was just like, just let me know if you want to do this or not. And it's like, okay, like you need to let them know. Cause again, like they have their own lives outside of this. They probably only signed up for a little bit just for, to have to start all over again. I don't really know how long her time's going to last, but Claire and Dale are gone. Chris Harrison's gone. The guys are talking amongst themselves, trying to decide if like they're emotionally ready to like learn a new person, to put themselves out there. Cause that just happened. It was like 12 hours ago. Like they hadn't really seen Claire in a bit. So it's like, on one hand, I feel bad for the guys because, like, they sign up for the contest, like, the bachelorette or whatever, like, especially this time, like, knowing who it's going to be so you can have already, like, okay, this is who I want. Just to have, like, a new girl be replaced and, like, maybe a different ethnicity. You're not you're who you're attracted to, not who you think you can mesh with. And vice versa, too, because, like, I guess the bachelorette never knows who her contestants are going to be, but it's, like, they're already kind of invested in this other person and now I'm coming just to replace them and they're still going to have her in mind, but I'm just, like, brand new to all of this and the guys already know each other. So it's kind of like a really iffy situation. I wish she could have gotten new guys, but with quarantine, obviously she just has to by force stick with these ones. Yeah, she was finally shown on camera, Tasha. Don't know anything about her, didn't know anything about the edit ones like usual, but she was shown on camera. She was shown talking to Chris and everything and just saying how nervous she is. And then it pans to her walking in like the trailer for the next episode. I'm really hoping the best for her. And I really hope that like the producers realize that this is going to be a, a really screwed up situation. Cause again, the guys are still mentally with Claire is in my head and she's just like tossed into this even though she agreed to it this could have been any other girl if it wasn't Tasha. like the same situation the same scenario would have been the case but I do hope it works out it'd be really wild for her to like get engaged to a guy who was really invested in Claire on this tv show kind of thing but I really hope the best for her and it was a really crazy episode and I'm actually surprised that it showed that much I'm surprised it wasn't a cliffhanger but next episode should be good because Claire's gone we have a new bachelorette and We'll see what happens so let me know if you like this review leave a comment down below like this button and subscribe and i'll see y'all next time bye